Let's look at question number five. Question number five. Malcolm, a 65 year old consultant, and an annual, take note of that, an annual taxable income. It's already taxable. You don't need to put taxable income of $980,000 for the year of 2023 to 2024, the tax year. That means it's annual, it, everything besides. So it does not belong to any, so you shall not consider medical tax credits. All right. Table 8 below shows the tax table for 2023 tax year. Uh -huh. And the rebates at the end of the year. Look at the questions that we have. These are the table tax and above, and the rebates are below. Uh, state the total number of rebates Malcolm will qualify for. Total number, they didn't say how much. They're saying total number of rebates. So, how many are they? The person 65 years of age, it's going to be that and that. We shall say two. Two rebates, namely primary and secondary. Calculate, um, calculate Malcolm's monthly tax payable. We are looking at tax payable now. Tax payable, it will come from the table that we've seen above, and we shall start like this. First and foremost, to get the money that he earns, we are saying it's 900. 900, this is the money that we're going to pick. Now, since we are looking for tax, which bracket does it belong to? We shall come to this tax. Uh, we shall come to this table here. It's already taxable. So we shall come 900, 900 belongs to this bracket here. So we shall write this down. We shall write this down. This is the tax, where, tax bracket where it belongs. So we shall write that down and we shall say, allow me to use the space which I have below. The bracket that we've just picked, it says uh, 251,258 rands plus the 41%. The so we shall take his taxable income, the one that we've already seen as Minus the money which we found it in. So here we go. You can pick that, put it in a calculator. You can take step by step, which is this much. Plus zero comma times. Subtract these values that you get here. Subtract the value that you get here. And we have 981,500 minus 857,900. So here we have 123,600. Put this in a calculator. Let's multiply that. We are adding these numbers here. We are adding these numbers. And when you add, you end up happy. So from here, we subtract the rebates. We saw that it qualifies for two rebates. So the rebates that we're subtracting, we are subtracting 
the primary one. Remember, we are in 2020, so we shall take this one here, 2023, 2024. So we are subtracting the 17,235 minus. So we subtract that much. So the answer becomes 275,222. So we, they asked for monthly, take note of that. We need monthly. So when you reach this moment here, you divide by four. Whereby you get 22,935,000. Sorry, 935.92 mm, cents. So this is the monthly. One, we identify the bracket. Two, substitute into the bracket. Three, remove the rebates. Four, divide by four, because you're looking for monthly. That's how we are supposed to do it. Okay. Go to question number 5.2. Malcolm is planning to buy a motor vehicle. The cash price of the motor vehicle is 334000 He considers the following payment options to the finance, sorry, to finance his vehicle to the value of 300 So option one, the motor vehicle loan without a residue, that's a balloon payment. Then uh, we have option two, vehicle with a loan of 20% residue, balloon payment. The balloon payment will be the seventh third payment. Seventh third payment, let me remember it's monthly instrument. So 70, 73rd, that means you go ahead by one month. 72, those are six years plus one month. Okay, then we have a personal loan from a bank. Below, show the different uh, motor vehicle payment options. Here we have option one, two, and three. They're telling us, or they're asking us, question number 5.2. Uh, define the term interest rate. Interest rate. Interest rate is the percentage the percentage at which interest will be charged interest will will be charged now they are saying in this context so interest on the car or interest on the loan car loan will be will be charged interest rate the percentage that's what i'm, I'm interested in the past because interest rate is always given as a percentage all right you look at on top there everything's percentage percentage all right um determine the difference between the monthly installments of option one and option two take note when you look at difference in mathematical literacy meaning we need to subtract this is a subtraction so we need to subtract what are we subtracting the monthly installments of option one and option two so here we go we shall need to subtract the monthly installments we come here identify the monthly instruments these are the ones and here so you take the bigger one minus the smaller one because you cannot have a negative
So 6,115, The difference is 600 runs, 17, 617 runs, 28 cents. This is the difference. Okay. We continue and we look at the other questions. The other question, the other question, we go on and say, hey, calculate the value of X. Calculate the value of X. Uh, you may use a formula below. Installments times the number of months minus the loan value. So X, we go there, we see how many installments we have. Loan period is six years. So installments are monthly. Monthly, monthly, monthly. So we are saying installments and times the number of months. So the installment in uh, X, X is under option one. So we shall take the monthly installment, which we are talking about installments here, which is 6,115, uh, 47 cents times the number of months. And this is six times 12, because there are six years times 12 months, minus the loan value. Remember the loan value, they took it to be 300. For all of them, you want 300. To be financed up to 300,000. So when you put this in a calculator, you'll get your value. Put this in a calculator, 6,115.47 cents. Mm, times, times six, times 12, minus 300. So our X value is the X value is one hundred forty thousand three hundred thirteen runs eighty four cents. All right, we go to the value of y determine the missing value of y which says you may use the formula below still total payable they are telling us we are taking um, we are taking the installments of uh when you look at y y is under option two y is under option two all right and there we go and we are looking at uh, Okay, it has a balance outstanding at the end of 72 months, which is the balloon, which is 20% of the value of the loan. 20% of the value of the loan. Because when you check there, we see 20%, there's an option number two, 20% residue. 20% of the residue, residue is the money that you, okay? So we go there and we say, so we shall take the instrument. It's 5,498 rands, 19 cents. Number of months, we are looking at them at 73 plus 20% times the balloon payment. We shall say, I'll take it to be the loan amount and we say that and we see. Hmm. Right, oh. So you put this in the calculator and the final answer becomes comma Give one reason why banks charge more interest on personal loans compared to the vehicle the vehicle loan. Now, this 
personal loans, you don't know what the person is going to use the money for. But for the car, uh, the car, the moment you miss an installment, they will come and repossess the car. They still have the car in their hands. You don't own it fully. But the personal loan, they have no control over your loan amount. Sorry, the amount, the money that you're using, what you're using, you're using the money for. You understand? So they have no control. But for the car, it's half theirs, it's half yours. All right, five point three. We look at uh, what we call data handling. We can see the images here of box and whiskers. The five, the five. It's called the uh, the five point summary. All right. We look at this and say, Malcolm, okay, the the following box and whisker plot summary summarizes hmm? summary. Summarize the percentage sales of the electrical vehicles, E, and the plug-in uh, hybrid vehicles, P, in South Africa. Okay. The box below, okay, there are the following box and whiskers plot for the sales of the two types of vehicles was drawn. Hybrid vehicle is one that changes two or more distinct types of power. Either an internal combustion engine or electric powered by batteries. Okay. So it either uses petrol or it uses electricity. It's two in, two in one. Write down the value of the lower quartile E. We're looking at lower quartile. In your head, you know very well the lower quartile is Q1. Q1 will always be the second line from your, from your, it's the second point from your, Left hand side, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five. That's what we call it the five point summary. So the second point, this one here, it will be Q1. The third point is Q2. The fourth point is Q3. The maximum is five, and the minimum is one. Okay, the lower, uh, the lower quartile. Or electric, so which line? So we shall put a line here, match this number here. It's approximately 24. So our Q1 here equals to 24. And and I stated that the interquartile range for electronic vehicles was a quarter of the interquartile range of plug-in vehicles. Verify showing all calculations whether or not the analysis statement is valid. First and foremost, you need to look for both interquartile ranges. We are tied or we are looking at interquartile range. They are saying one of them is a quarter of the other. Okay, we are seeing electronic, which is E, and so they are saying that the interquartile range of E was a quarter. A quarter simply meaning one over four or zero comma two five. If not, it means twenty five percent. So we are going to identify this. So first and foremost, we need to look for their interquartile ranges for both of them. And you know very well that interquartile range will always be the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. Q three minus Q one. So now I'm starting with E. What is Q3 of E? Because we've seen Q1 already, 24. So Q3 is 29. When you look at it critically, it's 29. So we shall say E is 29 minus 24. You have the answer as what? Then we go to the other one for the P IQR for P. You do the same. So this is P. We look at its quarter three. 
it's what? 24. It's Q1 is 6. So we come down here and we subtract. We are saying 24 minus 6. The answer becomes 18. 18 is the answer. So we are verifying. And I said that the Dakota range for electronic was a quarter of this. So we need to look for the a quarter of 18. So a quarter of 18. You have your answers for comma. Or comma five. But remember, we have them in whole numbers because because you can't have a half. So which is five. So the the statement is the statement is valid. The statement is valid. This marks the end of question number five at the end of our question paper. Question. Paper one, question per question.